This story begins with the figurant at night in his room at a tavern feeling a lot of pain in his foot. Then it cuts to the figurant arriving in the city a few hours earlier, all battered after a fight. Finally, a village, I'm saved, he said, complaining that he knew black wolves traveled in packs, but he didn't think there were so many. I need healing, but first I need to get a loan from the Adventurers Association, he said. After taking out a loan, he decided to look for a healer in the church, hoping not to die before getting there. But as soon as he left the association, our protagonist approaches him. Excuse me, are you looking for a healer? You won't need to go far, our protagonist offers to heal him for a price. Show me your license, the figurant said, suspicious of the conversation. That's because, in this world, healers make a lot of money, so many fake healers have appeared. That's why a healer's license was created, a license given by the Adventurers Association. Our protagonist explains to him that when he told the association that he did not possess any healing magic, they did not give him a license. The figurant curses him and asks, How are you healing me if you don't have healing magic? What a crazy man! The protagonist begins to examine the extra's wounds, showing that he even knew that his wounds had been made by black wolves. But he saw a wound on his heel and realized that the wound was caused by a twig. The figurant gets surprised and asks him how he knew that. The protagonist says that even though he doesn't have a license, he heals people to support himself. He tells the figurant that if he goes to the priest, he will have to spend 600 gold, but an adventurer healer will charge him 300. So he says that for just 150, he would heal him. Tired of listening to that conversation, the figurant calls the protagonist a fraud and begins to walk away. The protagonist says that he can't be healed by a healer and said he will be at a nearby tavern waiting for him. Then it cuts to the figurant in the church being healed and after that, the priest charges him 620 gold. Then it cuts to the scene we saw at the beginning of the story, the figurant in his room in pain. The tavern employee arrives in his room and the figurant is writhing in pain. He asks her to call a healer without understanding why since he has spent a lot of money with the priest. So he remembers the words of the protagonist saying that he could not be cured by a healer and once he started to feel pain he would regret that decision. The protagonist appears at the door of his room saying, the healer who doesn't have healing magic is here. The protagonist tells him that the healing will cost 300 gold and asks him to pay in advance. The figurant said that he said 150 before, but the protagonist said that now the wound is three times worse. If you think that's expensive, call another healer. The extra desperately says that he will give his sword to the protagonist, which is worth at least 200 gold. The protagonist accepts and says that this time he will do it for 200. The protagonist explains that there are things that simply cannot be healed with healing magic, one of them is poison. He explains that the twig the figurant scratched himself on was from a black fruit that has a poison that paralyzes when someone scratches on it. The wolves used to take advantage of that. The protagonist pulls out a knife along with the antidote vials for the black fruit and explains that the antidote must be applied directly to the injured area, while making a psychopathic face. The protagonist reminds the figurant that he can't do healing magic. So there's no other way. He also says that he doesn't have any anesthetic, so the figurant can scream as much as he wants, it will be worse if he moves. Practicing healing is normal for a healer, but he is not a normal healer. So he can do whatever he wants.